Sue Loudon shifted her political campaign into high gear this past week with a bus tour of rural Nevada. She's hoping to become the Republican challenger to Senator Harry Reid, the powerful Democratic majority leader of the Senate. But Loudon's immediate goal is to win the June Republican primary. It's a race that's shaping up to be a tight contest between Loudon, a former state senator, and Danny Tarkanian, who used to be a UNLV basketball star. Conservative comer Sharon Angle, a former Reno Assemblywoman, also is pulling well against Reid. Another dark horse GOP candidate is John Chachas, an investment banker from Nevada who spent the past 20 years in New York and who's prepared to spend millions of his own money in the campaign. Finally, waiting in the wings is Lieutenant Governor Brian Kralicki, who signaled this week that he may jump into the race if it looks like he could win. Another half a dozen candidates also are in the race. Loudon's bus tour began in Laughlin on Tuesday and ended in Reno on Saturday. Along the way, she stopped in several small towns that dot the 1,000-mile trek between Laughlin down south and Reno up north. Loudon is stumping to largely conservative crowds, and she's telling them that she's not Washington, and she's not Harry Reid. But I, I believe that this administration and I believe it's being led by Harry Reid as the majority leader, truly believes that government knows better than the private sector. That government should rule your life better than you can rule your own life. That, that's what I believe is happening now. Winning rural Nevada is a ground game, and she's trying to pick up every vote, one person at a time. Well, so far we're doing a great job with getting um, the people out and uh, looking at Sue. Um, they're eager to meet Sue. I think she had a lot of what uh, people here in Laughlin were looking to hear. Uh, if she continues along that vein, I'm confident that she'll do real well and go far in this election. Her campaign manager, Robert Eithoven, compared it to running for sheriff in 17 counties. She's reintroducing herself as a candidate to the rural communities. Loudon successfully won a seat in the state senate in 1992, but she lost re-election in 1996. Crowds are getting a heavy dose of her personal story. You know, my parents uh, have uh, Medicare, and uh, it's their only health insurance, and they're frightened by the changes that they see uh, in this new health care bill. Loudon at first was nervous about her past because she felt people would not take a former beauty queen seriously for U.S. Senate. She toured with Bob Hope and the USO in Vietnam in 1971 and was Miss New Jersey in 1973. Now she tells a room filled with veterans at the American Legion Post in Laughlin how she started her public service as an 18-year-old blonde on the arm of the late comedian. Uh, I want to ask her how many vets are here tonight? How many veterans are here? Thank you. Thank you for your service to our country. I was with the USO in 71 in Vietnam. Yeah. Thank you. In Searchlight, Loudon stopped at a casino and the senior center to talk with locals in Reed's hometown. She addressed the fears many of the elderly crowd have about health care reform. So we're going to make a big effort to uh, win this race, win the primary, and then eventually uh, defeat Harry Reed. I know he's your hometown guy, but um, maybe it's time for him to retire here come back here and uh, stay, uh, stay here in Searchlight. Most of the elderly that have voted for him and known him are trying to vote for someone else. They're unhappy with the way things are going, and mainly because of the health care bill. I didn't say she don't have a chance. <laughs> I just said we're for the guy that lives here. The first day of her bus tour ended with a real momentum boost. Republican Scott Brown won a special election in Massachusetts a strong democratic state where the Kennedys have ruled for years. I want to say that we started in Massachusetts tonight and we're going to finish in November by defeating Harry Reid in November right here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Loudon says she plans several more bus tours of the state before the June primary. Rural turnout and the conservative vote is vital in this contest.